Hi guys, what up, what up, what up? Duns and Divas, what's going on? Today we're doing curry mm, chicken. Curry mutton. So I'm here washing mutton, washing the mutton. Make sure you wash the mutton good. You see all these bits and pieces? You have to get them off, wash it good. There's salt in this water and I have vinegar and lemon in this water. You can see where they're much cleaner here. So there we go, all my mutton clean and ready to season. We got um, soya sauce, we got Maggi liquid seasoning, stock pots, Maggi cubes. Love me Maggi cubes, yeah. Those will go in when it's boiling up. We got some ground ginger here, some fresh pimento from Jamaica. Hot Caribbean curry powder. Yeah, and I'm using Raja. We have chili powder, garam masala, all purpose seasoning, hot madras curry powder, coarse black pepper. Yeah, we're going to be using. And as I said, hot Caribbean curry powder, mixed herbs. Dried mixed herbs, garlic powder. I've got some fresh thyme here. Two large onions. I've got some country peppers here. What I don't use, I will freeze. And I have sweet pepper, garlic, and scallion. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Trust me, guys, if you follow what I'm doing to the tea, your curry gonna taste sweet to lick your ten finger. Trust me. All somebody else will come lick your finger. That's how the curry got nice. Yeah? Okay. Also, I'm gonna be doing some um, gungu rice and peas. And I'll just give you a quick run through how I do this so I'm gonna season up my curry now see it here nice and wash you see the difference it almost white yeah I'm gonna season up the curry this evening um ready and put it in the fridge for tomorrow and I'm gonna put the peas to soak this evening so it's ready tomorrow so here I already chop up the onion garlic green peppers and um, have mixed it up into the curry okay I'm now gonna add some oh, what it? I think it was black all right ground ginger <laughs> so I've now added some ground ginger into the pot okay onto the meat gonna add a little chili powder i don't know about teaspoons and tablespoons guys unless i'm baking so this is just like experience judgment yeah never put too much at the beginning put enough but not too much because you can always add later when you're cooking next some garam masala yeah these are some like powdered Indianish spices I'm using Raja make I know most Caribbeans rave about better pack better pack better pack curry um, it is a nice curry but I'm using a different make so I'm using some hot Caribbean curry powder hot Caribbean curry powder um, by Raja yeah Raja, they're about from a long time, grew up with Raja. A lot of people say, oh, it's no good, but it tastes all right, and I'm still alive. You know them way there? We prefer the Raja when me, I met Cory. So I went out specially and got the Raja things I've grown with. Okay. Next. What was that? I think that was hot madras curry powder. Because it's what I'm actually doing today. I'm mixing 
I'm putting hot Madras curry powder and I'm putting hot Caribbean curry powder. So there's a mix of two curries there. That's the little secret there. You understand? Get a different nice flavor. And this is um, all purpose seasoning. Just threw that on. Now I'm gonna put some mixed herbs. Mixed herbs going on. Yeah and what this oh this is the hot madras curry powder i'm putting on i think it was garlic powder i put in there before garlic powder yeah if the garlic powder comes up next then i don't know what i put in so i'm showing you there is both curry but one is an indian type spice curry one is a caribbean spice curry but you mix them together tastes nice trust me try it trust me wait till you see how this curry come out guys follow what i'm doing to the tea okay so all right some people might be thinking look at all of that what she put on there but i like my things seasoned well seasoned yeah and i if you notice you'll notice i don't put no salt yeah so this is coarse black pepper not too much i don't cook with too much black pepper it gives me chest burn and i have fresh pimento that i bring from jamaica just go and throw some of them pan it depends sometimes i crush out my pimento with my pestle and thing but not all the while so just throw those in rotted see the garlic powder there so can't remember what that was you'll have to rewind and see what was the one that went in that i didn't talk about i think it might have been the garam masala you know and i didn't realize it anyway moving on so we're putting in a bit of garlic powder even though we have um garlic yeah and so you know i used um a whole head of garlic two onions i used the red pepper i'm not so hot on green pepper guys so i cut up the red pepper in there and there's scallion in there also yeah and so now i've put some soya sauce just now i splashed it with some soya sauce splashing it with a little maggi um seasoning liquid is really nice guys really nice maggi seasoning liquid splash that in anything and it tastes good yeah and then this is some chopped up scotch bonnet. One, one chopped up scotch bonnet. I'm gonna pop a couple scotch bonnets on it later on to just boil, cook down in it, but only one I'm chopping up in there. And then we're gonna mix all this together. So people might be thinking, oh, why should I just use her? And I just don't like the curry seasoning on my hand. When it's curry, I don't like it. I'm being a bit extra now. A little sprinkle of all bay. Yeah. And then I'm going to put a little sprinkle of complete mm -hmm. bay. Yeah? Complete seasoning. Okay. Trust me, it's not too much. A whole leap of uh, three kilo. Three kilo of mutton this. Yeah, so I feel well seasoned. There you go. All nicely seasoned and going in the fridge. And tomorrow, we'll be back to cook. All right, mm, that looked nice already, and it sprinkled some thyme on the top there in the fridge. And I just want to show you, I've got my peas in the pot already, in some water, mm -hmm. scallion. Um, drop a couple peppers in there. There's a couple cloves of garlic in there. 
and um, I'm gonna pop some pimento seed in there and there's some thyme and just leave this in the water on the covered on the pot covered a little, 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 little. leave this in water in a covered pot on the stove and the peas will swell up a bit and some of that pea flavor so out in other water and we'll do that so hi guys i'm back 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 it's the next day time to cook the curry so i'm gonna warm up some oil in my dutch pot and get cooking this curry make sure you're oil is nice and hot you don't turn up your fire high and burn the oil you have your fire on a nice medium and just heat the oil patiently before you start i'm just throwing a little bit of curry powder and that's the caribbean curry powder um i'm predominantly using that even though i do have some indian madras curry powder on my meat so i'm just what they call him burning the curry but you're not really gonna burn the curry you are frying the curry um i think it just opens up the oil the flavoring of the pot whatever i know indian people um normally fry their spices first before they add the meat something about opening up the flavor so this is what we do burn the curry fry the curry okay when you see the curry turn a bit dark like this we're gonna start adding our meat okay so we're gonna add our meat into the dutch pot yeah okay there you go all right so you see how that is bubbling up frying up nice yeah so i'm gonna put all of that into the dutch pot and then we're gonna put all of that into the pot guys and then we're gonna um cover the pot and leave it for about 15 20 minutes let it get liquid juice in there yeah and what i normally do when i am cooking i um like to cover my pot with a bit of foil i'll show you that later these are my peas on the boil a couple of scotch bonnet in there so I'm just boiling up the peas. When the peas are more or less cooked, then we will add our rice, okay? When the peas have maybe like 15 minutes left to cook, we'll put the rice in. I'm putting some tin coconut cream, coconut milk into the water. I'm only gonna use one tin of this. I think one tin will be enough but it's up to you you can use two tin if you want if it was red peas i'd probably use two of these little tins because i love red peas rice and peas very coconutty yeah so just stir that in and then there'll be a little salt in the water as well and you just taste the water of the peas that it's not too salt but it's not fresh and then you just cover that over and go on let that simmer until the peas are almost cooked okay what this is guys this is just the bowl what i season the meat in so i'm just gonna put a you see a little bit of water i don't even know if it's a good half a cup with um 
a cube, one cube of Maggi May. I hate putting just water into my food. I feel like it takes away the taste. So when I need to add a little water, I will put a little Maggi stock cube in there just so the water don't taste so fresh. And then guys, it's been about 15, 20 minutes and we just look in the pot on a medium heat and you're gonna see already guys where the curry starts springing its own water yeah look at this that is pure mutton juice you know pure mutton juice yeah so i don't want to add no i've seen people at this stage full the dutch pot with water i don't do that guys watch and learn yeah so you see how that look nice and rich already don't even start cook 20 minutes so that water i just had in the bowl we just pour that in that's not even half a cup just to wash out the seasoning and give the curry a kick start all right now this is where i put foil guys put some foil over the top of your pot to make sure the lid is well sealed yeah you put on your lid make sure around the edge them just you know and make sure it well sealed you, you know what that means all the steam gonna go back down into the pot and give you look what it could like give you man look guys this is like one hour later 45 minutes look at that not more than an hour guys yeah i didn't add no more water to the curry i saw you cook meat yeah you add no whole leap of water the only time you had a whole leap of water like that is when you're cooking soup look at that look how that look rich and nice guys that gonna cook for about another half an hour 40 minutes and it should be ready okay we we'll have some potatoes to add in a while look at that guys put your foil back on and cover back your pot okay so look guys the peas peas looking like they're almost ready so i'm gonna add my rice today i'm using basmati rice i'm removing the peppers just for the minute because I don't want the scotch bonnet to burst in there it's only in there for flavor so put the rice in the pot stir it into the pea water yeah okay that's good all right and how you judge your rice if you put your thumb down into the rice water and um, the water should just cover your thumbnail right from the rice and that's how much water i've put the peas back in i've boiled the rice up in the peas and now i'm gonna turn the fire down to the lowest i can and guess what guess what i'm gonna do eh what do you think i'm gonna do Huh? Can you guess? Yes, guys, I'm gonna cover the pot with foil again. Cover the pot with foil, your rice pot. That's how you cook rice, seal it. And you don't open back that rice again till you think it's cooked, right? You leave it, let all that water go down in the rice. The steam drop back down. You don't have to keep running in there every minute. You see how the curry look nice? Look at that, guys. Look at the rice. Almost done. Right? That's the first time I'm stirring my rice. I'm just going to um, see how cooked it is. And I will be adding a little bit more water. And I'm going to cover it back. And then in about the next five six seven minutes that pot of rice will be perfect yeah just a little bit of water 
and that is all the water I have added back to that big pot of rice and notice guys my pot is not non-stick and I do not burn food you have to know how to cook yeah you have to know how to cook professional chef no use non-stick pot you know oh uh, <laughs> guys look at the curry oh my god look how that look rich guys and I'm I swear and I add no more water in the pot so the trick I show you today, tin foil. If you never know, now you know. I saw you cook stuff. Stop, add water and fresh up. Look at that, guys. Mm -hmm. Look how that look rich and nice. Trust me. So the last thing I'm adding in there now is some um, chop up potato. Some Irish about four Irish. Remember, this is three kilo of mutton where I'm cooking. And um, there's a big Dutch pot full of mutton. Mm, can't wait, man. So just stir in the potato. That will be like another 15 minutes or so. I don't want the potato to mash out. I just want it to cook just right. Taste your pot, guys. Taste your pot. See if you need to add anything more or anything missing. I can tell you that nothing was missing from mine. It was nice. Mmm. All right. So I'm just testing the meat, guys. Look how the meat just break open. Easy. Yeah. So you know that more or less cook. By the time the potato done, that perfect. I don't like my meat soft and a fall and mush up. When we have eating mutton, if I have a little chop on it. Yeah. Nice. Don't laugh after my pot cover, yeah? I cannot find the pot cover for my rice pot. I don't know where it is. <laughs> so cover, I cover it any old. So there we go, guys. Curry ready like Freddy. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Oh, yes. Potato them cook. Nice. Yum. Yes, guys. Rice nice and cook. Look at that, guys. Basmati rice. Yeah. You have to know how. So nice. Look at that. Nice and shelly and fluffy at the same time, yeah? Mm-hmm. And that's how you do curry, gungu rice and peas. See it there, guys? Whoa! Whoa! I'm going talking. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yum, yum, yum. I gotta go. I gotta go. See you next time. Please subscribe, share, Press the notification bell so that you know when I do another video. Thanks for your support. Oh.